Hi there, my name is Paul Halliday and we're going to start looking at Vue and Nuxt. So Nuxt.js is a framework for creating universal Vue.js applications. So we have a very lightweight framework. We have server-side rendering and much more. So to get started, ensure you've installed the Vue CLI. And you can do that by saying npm install Vue-CLI-G. Once we've done that, you can head to the directory that you want to start your project in. So mine will be hello-nuxt. And then from within this directory, we can say view init. And the template that we want to use is nuxt slash starter. And if we just hit enter, we'll be given the wizard. So yet yeah, we do want to create the project in this directory. I'm happy to leave the project name as is as well as the description, author. And now that that's done, we need to run npm install. npm install will of course install all of our dependencies for our project. And as always, when installing dependencies, it may take a little bit of time. And now that we have all of our dependencies, we can run npm run dev. And this will run the dev script which will start our application and listen on localhost 3000. So when we navigate to localhost 3000, we are greeted with this animation. If we open up our project inside of our editor, we should of course be able to see how this all ties together. As you can see here, we're starting off with this index.view. If we simply remove everything and create a new template, that simply says h1 hello world. You can see that everything has disappeared and now we simply have this hello world on screen. So one of the awesome things about Nuxt is that it transforms every view file inside of the pages directory to actually be a route for the application. So if we had another page, for example, if we had about.view and we made ourselves a template, and we'll give ourselves a h1 with about. And now we navigated to slash about. You can see that already we've created ourselves a route and that route has an associated template with a h1 saying about. So already you should be seeing just how powerful Nuxt is when all we need to do to create a new route is simply by making a new file inside of that pages directory. Let's now take a look at the directory structure inside of our app. Now we can start off with the assets folder. So as you can see, this contains our uncompiled assets, such as any less SAS or JavaScript. We also have a components folder. Now the components folder is any Vue.js components. As you can see, we have that basic logo component after which we have our layouts folder and this contains any default layouts. So you can see that right now we have this Nuxt component. And if we remove that, for example, and instead just put something static, like a paragraph of hello, you'd see that no matter what route we go to, whether it's the about route or the index route, we get hello. So a good idea at this point is if you wanted to add basically a static navigation bar, you could do so. And if you pretended that this was a nav bar at this point, and if we changed the route, you could see that the nav bar would be on both pages, but the content for each one of our routes would change. But we could also create some custom routes and inside of our routes, we can define a script tag that uses a different layout. So we could select a different layout, should we wish. For example, if we just call this different.view inside of this layouts folder here, and instead we just make a template that just literally has the word different inside of a div, and we can set perhaps our index to use the different as a layout. And you'll notice that if we do go to that root page, we do get different. But if we go back to about, 
you'll see that it obviously does use the default layout because we're not specifying a different layout for this page. So layouts are really powerful in Next. And I recommend that you take advantage of them in as many ways as possible. So the next folder is middleware. And as you can see, middleware allows us to define custom functionality to be run before rendering a page or a group of pages. So it's often good to do any sort of authentication checks as middleware. So that would definitely be a good place to do that. And of course, we've looked at the next folder, which is pages. And each view file that we create here acts as a route. So if we make a page, for example, called about.view, we can then use the slash about route inside of our application. The plugins folder contains any plugins that you may want to run before obviously instantiating the root Vue.js application. Inside of our static folder is everything that you'd expect. It's simply for static assets. So at this moment in time, we have a little fav icon. Inside of our store folder is everything to do with state management. And that is simply done with Vuex. We'll be investigating Vuex in the future. And of course, the rest of our files, such as our package.json, which contains our dependencies and build scripts. And the nuxtconfig.js is obviously a configuration file for Nuxt. So this has been a Hello World introduction to Nuxt. In this video, we achieved the use of routes by making new pages, as well as also investigating different layouts. So for example, we give our index.view a different layout, literally named different. And of course, our about page did not have that. So it had the default layout. As well as that, we've investigated all the different folders inside of a Nux project. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Have you used Nux before? Do you use it right now? If you do, get in touch with me in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. And if you don't, but you'd like to see more view content, let me know. And of course, I can start adding that into the content that I'm creating right now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out Learn Ionic 3 from scratch if you haven't already. PaulHalliday.io is where you can get that. And of course, we do have some discounted bundles for this week only. Every one of my courses at the moment in the same bundle for £22. That's quite a discount if you consider all the hours that have gone into that and also the current hours that are being added to that. We do actually have a new course coming out very soon and a whole section being added to that. That's to do with Firebase and we've got things like create, retrieve, update, delete. But I don't want to clutter this video up anymore. So until next time, I'll see you very soon in the next video.